is Rachel. Welcome to Spare Time at Home. This class is called Full Body Strength. Ready? Let's get started. Okay, for this class, you are going to need hand weights. It's best if you have a set of heavy hand weights and a lighter set, and I will tell you when we want to use the different weights. Um, you will also need a mat or something to kneel on. We are going to hit every single muscle group in your body, so let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with your warm-up. So to start, you're going to want to grab two of your light hand weights. You'll start with your feet right underneath your hips. Knees are soft, chest up. Weights are right by your hips. Let's start with the deadlift. Down two and up two. Good. Tip from the hips right to the top of the knees. Keep the weight in your heels. Your abs nice and tight and chest lifted. Let's change up that tempo. Down three, up one. Three, two, one, and stand. Good. Keeping those weights right close to your quads, into the thighs, down to the top of the knees. Let's change the movement pattern. Down two to the knees. Pull it up two to the belly button. Back down to the knees. And rise. Again. Warming up the back of the legs, that upper body. Same thing. We're just going to pick up the tempo a little bit quicker. Singles. Knees, belly, knees, and stand. Keep your elbows tucked in. And try to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, get 
give those legs a little bit of a break. Elbows are wide. Stand up nice and tall. One more. Transitioning to the biceps. Two and two. Curl. And down. Elbows in. Bring the weights all the way up to the shoulders. Almost there. This is the end of your warm up. And hold. Good. Okay, we're going to go into squats now. So grab your heavy weight that you have. Bring that weight up right by your collarbone. Your feet are right outside your hips. Toes slightly turned out. Let's start with a two and two squat. Down, down, up, up. So we're just going to set the tempo, warm up those legs, and get ready for a massive squat track. Down three, up one. Three, two, one, and stand. Now you don't have to use weights if you don't want to. You can always just drop the weight and use your body weight. That's okay too. One more. We're going to hit a fun little combo. Check this out. Four singles. Four. Three. Get low. Butt down. Now hold it down bottom half for four. Three. Right in the basement. Hold it down. Two. Back to the singles. Four singles. That is your combo. Four singles, four bottom halves. You're going to feel that fire in the legs. Drop and hold it. Four. Three. Chest up. Abs are tight. Stand up. Back to the singles. Hey, there we go. Legs are waking up. Hold that bottom half. It's just a little bit up. Just stay down. Feel that pressure build. One more time through the combo. Keeping those knees behind your toes. Bottom half. Four. Three. Last one. Get a little bit of break. Stand up, shake it out. Now keep the weight where it is. Come into a wide squat. Toes out, knees out. We start with a two and two tempo. Down, two, up, two. So our stance is a little different. Knees are going to push out a little bit more. This is going to help isolate the glutes, the backs of your legs. Now down three, up one. Three, two, one, stand. Pushing through your heels into the floor. One more. Now slow, super slow, down for four. Use your body weight. Down and hold. Four. Three. Abs are tight. You got it. Keep going. We're still in it. When we work the legs, we work your heart rate. We make you stronger. Dig in, dig in. You got one more time through that combo. Same thing. But this time, can you get an inch lower? Drop it down. Feel the range. Basement, four. Three, you get a break after this. Stand up and shake it out. Good job. We're gonna transition to that weight in between our legs. Feet are nice and wide, toes out. We start with a two and two squat. Down, down, up, up. Hopefully your legs are feeling tired, a little shaky. That's what we want. We want that fatigue starting to set in. So you're in your last set. Down three, up one. Three, two, one, stand. Slow on the way down, squeeze it to the top. Push those knees out. Tempo change. Down super slow for four. Get that weight down low. 
bottom half. Check it out. You want your hips to sink deep. There we go. There we go. If you don't push yourself, you're not going to change. Last one. Hold it down. For four. Three. Two. And one. That's it for legs. Good job. We're going to do some chest and some back work. For this chest track, you're going to need a mat or somewhere to kneel down on the floor. We are going to set up with our hands outside our shoulders, on your knees or on your toes, giving two and two push-ups. Up, up, down, and rise. If you want to jump to your toes at any point for a challenge, you can. Then press it up. Good. Chest is falling right to elbow height. Woo! Feel that in the front of the body, the chest, the shoulders. From here, single push-ups. Down, up. There we go. Hold it here, chest up. Four more. Four. Three. We're going to do some fun little movements. A walking push-up. Right hand comes out and left hand. Good. So walking out and in. If you can do it on your toes, please do. Take the challenge. Two more. And hold. Check it out. Good job. First round done. We're coming down for round two. Hands wide. Down two up. Two push-ups. Down. Down, up, up. Now try and have your back nice and flat. Drop and stop, and come on up. If you need some help, if you're on your knees and it's still too hard, bring your knees in under your hips, and that'll take out some of the weight for you. Now we got singles. Here we go. Drop and press. the floor. Four more. Three. Two. Walking push-up. Right hand. Step it out. Drop and press. Seven. This is it. Six. All the way to the end. Four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out. Good job. You are going to need one heavy weight. We just did chest, now we're gonna work some back. So take your weight in your right hand, left knee forward, and tip over that front knee. We're gonna row it up, up two, and down two. Now take it out wide to apply. Up two, and down two. Pull it in and row. Keeping that elbow in narrow, then take it out wide. Same thing. We're just gonna go single tempo. Pull and reach. Now try not to open up your body. Keep your shoulders nice and square to the floor. You should feel that little burn in the back. Keep going. That's it, that's it. Two more, all the way. And shake it out. Other side. Weight in your left hand. Tip forward. Up two. And down two. Reach it out to the side. Same thing. Other side. Pull it in. Then take it out. Single tempo. Pull. And reach. Now keep that chest up nice and tall. But stay tip forward. That heat should creep in right behind the shoulder blades. Behind your shoulders. You got four more. Four. Three. Good. 
Every single rep counts. There it is, there it is. Good. Grab that other way to finish. Shake it out. Tip forward. We got one single. One, two, and two. Good, bring it out single. And then a two and two. Make sure your tip forward to really isolate that upper back. You got it. Almost there. And stand up. Shake it out. Woo! Okay, we're going to go to an arms track. Biceps and triceps. You will need your heavy weight. If you need to drop to a lower weight, that's fine at any point. Feet under hips. Let's start with a two and two bicep curl. Bring it up to the shoulders and down to the thigh. Now we want to set our body up nice and strong. So keep those elbows in. Up three, down one. Three, two, one, and drop. Good. So there's a slight twist in the fist as you bring that weight up to your shoulders. Now we have a little combo, check this out. Mid-range pulse for eight, seven, six, hold it, four, three. Now alternate your bicep curl, right and left. Right and left, two more. We're gonna back to that mid-range pulse. Elbows in, halfway up, right at the belly button. Just a nice easy pulse. Four, three, two, single, right and left. Knees are soft. That's your first round of biceps. Go ahead and drop one of the weights. We're gonna hit the tricep. Weight is right by your hip. You're leaning forward over that front knee. Two and two kick back. So keep that elbow up. And then you're just gonna kick that weight back by keeping that elbow tucked in. Up quick and hold. One, 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 two. So it's a little pause at the top to get that tension in the muscle group. If you need to drop weight, that's okay. Let's go to singles. Kick it back. Back and in. You should feel that little pinch right in the back of the arm. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're gonna go back to biceps. Two and two curl. Up two. And down two. You are strong. We're hitting those arms. Good job. Tempo change. Up three, down one. Three, two, one, and down. Try not to let those weights fall. Control them on the way down. And you remember that combo? Because we're going to hit it again. Mid-range pulse for eight. Try not to squeeze your weights, relax that grip. And then we got full range singles. Up and down. Try not to swing your body at all. Mid range for eight. Your elbows are at a 90 degrees the whole time. Full range, up and down. So we're gonna give those biceps a little break and hit the other tricep. Drop one of those weights, step forward, elbow up, two and two kick back. Really important that you stay tipped over to make sure we're isolating the back of that arm. Up quick and hold. Try not to open up your chest, so keep those shoulders square to the floor. Little heat creeping in, that's a good sign. We finish with some single kickbacks. Back and in. Stop that weight right at your hip. That keeps that tension in the muscle group. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, we're gonna keep that one heavy weight. Some tricep overhead extensions. Elbows are tucked in. Weights are gonna come down all the way to the base of the neck. Now slow it down on the way down for three. Three, 
two, one, stand. Okay, so you should be able to see your elbows right next to your forehead. Feel that isolation training. We got singles, here we go. Drop and lift. Woo, it feels good to work your arms and get stronger. Three more. From here, pulse at the bottom. Give me three pulses. Three, two, one, and stand. Chest up. Try to brace your abs a little tighter. You're almost there, you're almost there. Stay with me. Singles, down and up. We want it to be a little tough. We don't want it to be too easy, because then it doesn't work you. It doesn't make you stronger. Pulse it at the basement. Three, two, one, stand. Nice and tall, you got two more. Almost there, hit the finish line. And shake it out. Let's finish with some curls. Nice and easy, up two and down two. You're gonna have a hard time lifting your arms tomorrow, that's a good sign. We got the biceps, we got the triceps. You're good to go. We're gonna hit the combo. You know what to do, mid-range pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Alternate the singles, right and left. Biceps, the front of the arms. Mid-range pulse. Elbows in, chest up. All the way up, all the way down. Try not to swing your body. And you're done, good job. We are gonna go into some shoulders and some lunges. So you're gonna need to grab your light weights. We're gonna start with our feet directly underneath our hips. Take your left foot and step it straight back. We step, lunge, up, together, other side. This is your last working track. We're gonna hit the legs and the shoulders, and then we'll pull down. So just this last one. Now check it out. Step, lunge, up, together. Elbows in a 90 degrees. You're lifting your elbows to shoulder height. Good. When you step back, drop that knee straight down into the floor. Keep that front knee right over your ankle. One more. Now from here, we're gonna go to single tempo. Check it out. Lunge together. Lunge together. You're gonna feel your heart rate start to rise because this is a full body workout. Now hold this foot back. Check it out. Lift, rotate, center, down. Stay in the lunge if you can. If you need to come up, that's okay. One more. And step it in. Good job. Shake it out. We're going to bring our arms up. Reach up. Two and two. Right arm. Up. Two. Down. Two. Press the weight to the ceiling. Your elbows are gonna stay wide. You're gonna reach as high as you can. Now same thing, let's just go to singles. Reach, center. And you see how I'm not dropping my elbows all the way down into my body? You wanna keep that elbow out to keep the tension in the muscle. Both arms at the same time. Eight, seven. Good, those arms are burning. Four more. We're gonna give the arms a little bit of a break and hit the legs again. Arms are down, pulse the squat. Eight, seven, six, five. Now step that right foot out to the side, open up your knees, pulse. Good. Knees out, step it in. We go back to that eight pulses. Eight, seven, keep your knees behind your toes. Feel that tension in 
the leg, step it out. Eight, seven, six. Get low, get low, you're almost there. Step it in, hold. Woo, shake it out. Good work. We're gonna hit the other side. In the lunges and the shoulders. Elbows in, feet underneath the hips. This time, step your right foot back. Just walk the lunge. One, two, three, and four. Hips stay square. You're pushing through that front heel, out of the floor. From here, we add on a side raise. Bring those elbows up as you drop down. Now, of course, your option is, if your shoulders are tired, you can always drop that weight and just move your arms in the direction that we're moving. Keep going. Couple more. Now you're probably in a comfortable spot right now. We're gonna take it up to level two by picking up the tempo. Single lunge. Here we go. Drop together. You're gonna start breathing a little bit harder. Two, now hold this leg back. Check it out. Side, open, center, together. There it is, stay in that lunge if you can. One more. Step it in and shake it out. Feet under hips. We finish. Upright rows. Two and two. Elbows wide. Brace your abs. Up, quick, down, slow. Slowly lower. You should feel good. Like you hit all those muscle groups in your body. Arms are shaking, legs are tired. Good job. Couple more. Last one. You're gonna transition to your cool down. Go ahead and put those feet off to the side. Shake it out. Give me one big inhale and an exhale. Again, take your hands up. Inhale all the way up. Big deep breath. Reach over to that right side. Get back to center. Inhale. Exhale to that other side. Let's open up our back, those upper back muscles. Nice big stretch. You can roll out your neck if you want to. And take those arms back. Open up your chest. Make sure you drink lots of water after doing this strength training. Good. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Grab your right leg. Hold that quad stretch. Want to make sure we replenish the body after we work those muscles so you can recover and hit it again later. Go ahead, take that heel down to the floor, sit back and feel that hamstring stretch. All the way down the back of the leg. Step it in, other leg. Get your balance, breathe in, exhale. Heel comes down to the floor, hamstring stretch. Just take those knees and roll out your back. One more time. One last big inhale. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Nice job.